a multi-million dollar company and here are a bunch of things I wish I would have known before I got started. I knew absolutely nothing about business before I got started and obviously it still worked out for me but there are a lot of things that I just wish that I would have known from the start and would have made my life a lot easier. Number one, very first thing is to get an LLC. So an LLC basically protects your personal assets. So if you have, let's say, a house in your personal name and you start a business and somebody sues you, your personal assets are protected. Number two, after you have your LLC is to get a business credit card. The purpose of doing this from the start and separating your business and personal finances are that when you start paying for business expenses like softwares or maybe you hire an assistant, all of those payments are completely separate from your personal purchases, which makes everything so much easier at tax time. Trust me on this one. Number three, now that you have your business credit card to separate your business purchases, you also want to plan for the money that you are going to make as an entrepreneur. So you also want to open a business bank account. So a separate account where the money that you're making in your business goes directly into that account instead of mingling your business finances with your personal finances. Because again, this can get just really confusing at tax time and it can also make it a lot more challenging if you do happen to like get audited. Number four is that you want to get business liability insurance. Find one that you like and the, the real key here is making sure that they really understand what it is that you do. Especially if you have an online business, it's a little bit different than like a traditional brick and mortar business. So make sure they fully understand the scope of what you do and can insure you so that again, if you do have an unhappy customer or client someday, your business and your personal assets are all protected. So those are four things that you do need. I'm gonna just end on one thing that I don't think you need as a business owner in 2022 and that is business marketing college education. Like I said, I had none of that. Um, and even though I did a few things wrong at the start, I was still able to build a multi-million dollar company. So don't let any of these things prevent you from getting started. And let me know if you guys want a part two.